Hey y'all, so I have not vlogged in about a week. I kind of took a little bit of a break after Thanksgiving because I was like on go. So now it is December 2nd. It is December 2nd y'all. And my birthday is like five days away, which is crazy. It doesn't feel like my birthday's coming, but it kind of does. I've been in this weird like feeling. I don't know how to explain it. And I feel like it's because my 30th birthday is like next week. It just feels weird, but Today, we're gonna to be doing a little bit of decorating. We went to at home and got some stuff. We already got some stuff from like Amazon. We got the Christmas tree from Amazon, the Christmas lights, some of the ornaments and just like little things, stockings, a Merry Christmas sign. And then today we went to at home, but I have to go back to at home tomorrow to get more ornaments because we're gonna do like clusters of ornaments. At first we were gonna do the design where you swirl the ornaments around the tree but I was like, I don't really want to do that anymore because I got on TikTok and I seen a video and I was like, yeah, I don't want to do that anymore. So I'm just going to do like clusters of ornaments. We're going to do burgundy and gold because that's the theme that we want to do. And yeah, today we're pretty much just going to put the tree in its place and put the lights on, but we don't have all the ornaments and stuff to put on it yet. So I'm going to show you guys what we did get. We got two garlands. We got a wreath, which we're going to put outside. At first I was like, I don't really care about the outside, but... I guess that'll add a little bit of Christmas spirit. So this is the wreath. Oh, you can't really see it. It's like a 30, 36 inch or something. And it's pre-lit. It has these little, I don't even know what those are, cranberries, some pine cones. And you just press the button on this little box right here. And it has like a little bit of light. So this is gonna go on the front door. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Those ornaments, those are from Amazon. Those are from at home. And then in here, we have these little pine cones. These cute little frosted pine cones since the theme is burgundy. And then to fill it up, we have these little white cream, whatever these things are, to kind of like add to the vase on the table and then those are the christmas lights for the tree this is the vase that these are going to be going in somehow some way and it's going to sit on the coffee table right there and then we got a reindeer that's gold which is really cute i'm pretty sure that's going to go on the table i don't know oh. and then in here are the garlands which I don't know how this is gonna go, but we got two of them. One of them matches the wreath that's going on the door. It has the, um, what are those? Are those supposed to be cranberries? I don't know. And then this is supposed to be a tree topper, which looks really weird, but we shall see how it ends up looking. So the first thing is putting up the tree over there in that box, which is going right there in that corner where the lamp is. So I'm gonna move this lamp into the middle of these two chairs and then slide the mirror over there and then some of the other things we got are these stockings because the theme is burgundy and gold and then this merry christmas sign and then these pillows they're pillow covers but i have to put it on the pillow with these snowflakes and that one's already on there we're gonna get rid of the pumpkins of course so i'm gonna move this right here So one of the things that we want to put up is a garland on the stair rail right here. So there's, pretty sure it's going to be this. So there's this plain one. I believe this is like six feet. I think this one is going to go over the fireplace. And then this one, it's a lot going on. This one has 
pine cones and cranberries and stuff like the wreath for the, it's literally the same it's just a garland so this one's nine foot but it doesn't have any lights the other one has built-in lights and it's battery operated this one does not have any lights so what we're going to do take this right here which i got from Shein. it's like a gold leaves and you could wrap it around and it lights up and it's battery operated i got these on Shein for like a dollar i got like five of them so we're gonna wrap this with this to put on the stair well, yeah we're gonna wrap this around this so it can have some light and you just kind of hide this and tape it up or something to get it out of the way Okay, this is what we're working with so far. This is a nine foot garland that has all of the stuff on it. And it actually looks really good. I didn't know if it would be too long, but when you drape it around the bottom like that, it looks nice. Okay, so this is what we're working with on the stairs. This little gap right here is throwing us off a little bit because we really like how it drapes over the top like this, but we brought it down here. And after all we just did, I was gonna say, do you wanna redo this? To fix that gap, or well, this is what it looks like from this side with the lights in it. I feel like if we just maneuver it up a little bit more right there, you don't even need to undo all of this. So, this is the tree that we got from Amazon, I believe it's seven and a half feet high. That's the base, so you just basically take. C, A, B, and C. This is C. And just wait to put it put it in the base and then screw it in. That didn't take forever. Onto the second layer. This is seven and a half feet, so hopefully this one doesn't have as many stems. Okay, so all the lights are on. The top is a little skimp in the back, but that's fine because you're gonna see it from this angle 
right here, which the top could still use a little more, but it's fine, no big deal. So this is what's going on over here. I just put up these candles that were already here. They're just some flameless battery operated candles. And then I have this Merry Christmas banner up there. It kind of matches the vibe of the living room, the cream and the wood, as y'all know already. And then the two burgundy stockings and then the garland that we got from at home today that has lights in it and it's battery operated, which is nice. The only thing that's missing is the Christmas trees that are going to be right here. So it's going to have not these, but it's going to basically look like this. So Christmas tree here and another little one. So kind of like that, but they're just going to be burgundy to kind of tie in the burgundy vibe that we have going. So yeah, it's going to be two Christmas trees right there, but they just haven't gotten here yet. And then we're going to work on the table probably tomorrow. And then this candle right here is from at home as well. And it's just burgundy and gold, which is also the theme. So I got it. And then this one right here is apple cinnamon and it's from Target. So I don't know which one we're going to use. Probably the big one because I don't know. It's just the vibe more so. This one is cute, but I'll just put that one away for now. So... Good morning, you guys it is the day before my birthday sorry i have the camera all the way up here but the lighting in here is trash so it is december 6th and i am about to get dressed and prepped for doing these photos i'm nervous i was not supposed to be doing photos the day before my birthday but we shall see how this goes okay so i finished my makeup it's super basic i didn't put my lip on yet because i want to set up first because once i get dressed fully i want to just get right into it So y'all, I know I look a little weird, but I had to pivot. The whole photo shoot was just going down the drain. I was like, this is not doing what it's supposed to do. I tried, I tried, and I was just like, you know what? We gotta do something else. So I just decided to put on this wig cause it kind of gave like grown and sexy. And I put on this, what is this? Like a lace corset top that I got from Shein. If you don't have this, you need to get it. They have it in like 10 different colors. I'm gonna go get it in brown and probably red but this thing is off the chain i love it and i put on these little silk shorts can y'all see me and i put on these little silk shorts and some silver jewelry and i'm just kind of doing like a little makeshift photo shoot i have the 30 balloons up on the wall i have my glass of wine right here <laughs> with the little red lipstick on there and I've just been sitting right here in front of my camera and I have it plugged into my laptop so I could see myself a little bit better so you guys can see basically what I've been doing I'll hit the button on my camera remote which is right here it won't focus but you can see it I hit the button and it takes the picture and yeah everything else was not working i was like i'm not gonna be a bad spirit i'm not gonna be in a bad mood i'm not gonna be a party pooper i'm just gonna change up real quick see what i could do and whatever i just want to post something tomorrow i don't really care if it's like super out there and extravagant it's not that deep to me i just didn't want to go past my birthday and not post anything so this is what i've been doing
morning you guys it is december 7th and it is my 30th birthday i look like a freaking egghead right now but i'm about to go to ups i have some returns that i need to do and then i'm probably gonna go to Publix, and then i'm probably gonna end up going somewhere to help my dad find an outfit for we're going to cirque du soleil tomorrow and he doesn't have he's so extra i'm like daddy it's not like a suit and tie event but he wants to get an outfit to wear and I think I already know what I'm wearing. It depends. It's like 35 degrees right now. And I'm like, that means it's probably going to be freezing tomorrow. Tomorrow night, especially. It starts at 8 and I'm pretty sure some of it is outdoors, if I'm not mistaken. I really don't know. But the outfit that I was going to wear, I'm thinking about not wearing because it requires heels and my toes are going to be out. And I'm like, that doesn't seem like a good idea. So I may be trying to look for something right along with him. Or I might just throw something together that I already have. I already have like a million things that I could wear. So I should just go through that and find something. But we're about to go to the post office right now. Today is not going to be super eventful because it's a Thursday. And my husband's at work and I'm just home. So it's not like, you know, a lot going on. But this weekend, tomorrow and Saturday is when I'm going to be like doing stuff for my birthday. So yeah, just wanted to come on here and show my face on my birthday looking real crusty. But it's cool because I'm alive. I've seen another day because unfortunately a lot of people are not able to do so. So I'm just blessed and super, super grateful that I made it to my 30th birthday and that I'm here alive and well and just, just happy. So I'm just going to go out and do what I was saying earlier and I'll see you guys later. So I just got back in the house. We went to UPS to drop off some returns and then right next door to UPS is nothing but cakes. And on your birthday, you actually get a free cake if you sign up to be like a perks member. So I went in there and got a free cake for my birthday. And then after that, we went to Target for a return and then Ross and then Publix because tonight I decided I wanted a crab boil. I usually don't really eat it that often. And when I go out to eat it, I always have like a reaction to it. I'm not allergic to seafood. I just have like a gluten sensitivity. So assuming that that's the problem, I usually just make my own at home and I haven't had it in a good like year low key. So I'm just gonna make a crab boil tonight with my dad and my husband for my birthday as my birthday dinner. And then what else? I got some ingredients to make an espresso martini. I love it. I have been loving them lately, but I got decaf coffee because before when I would get the, the coffee that had caffeine in it, it just wasn't doing it for me. I know Kahlua has caffeine in it, but it's not as much as coffee does. So that's my drink of choice for today. I feel like it's very grown and sexy, very, very 30. And also I'm going to see the Beyonce film on Saturday. So that's going to be fun. I already have my outfit planned to wear to the movies and I'm just excited. It's going to be kind of an eventful weekend. So hopefully everything goes as planned. And I feel like I want to do something on Sunday. I just don't know what. Maybe go like have brunch. I don't know. But yeah. That's just an update for right now, and I'll see you guys later when we're doing the crab boil. Money coming, money go. I've been at it. I've been at it on the low. Trapping out of where I live. I keep seeing the leaders doing this. We talking plans and maybe seeing you. Pull up on you, let me scoop. Nobody here but me and you. Got a little ring to it, turn that thing fluid in the coop. Why you look, I know it's real. I'm on my machine, shit. I've been really getting a feel. You know why I'm here, don't act like you don't know how I feel. But let me tell you what you mean to me. Slide on me for that mean greet. Vibe with me in the moonshine. Sipping moonshine to the new sky. Taste toasted and be raised soak in the raincoat. Hit the waist quota. I be flossing. I be locked in. I was lost here. All that turned me to a target. Plotting on me. I be cautious. Back then I was an adolescent. Then I had a lesson. I'm the man now. I got fans now. I'm on cam now. I got plans now. I'm finna branch out. Grew up quick but never let go of this here. All of that bullshit is in my rear. Hey. Blue tin papers, blowing vapors, wooden traders. Long hair killer in my villa, bitch, I made it. Used to play to play, now I think we made it now. She wanna lay me down, I'ma need you to hold me all the way down. Hold it down for me, say you down for me. Say you, say you, hold it all the way down. Hold it down for me, hold it down for me. Say you, say you, hold it all the way down. Say you down for me, hold it down for me. Say you. Say hold it all the way down, hold it down for me, shut it down for me. Wait, okay. I give a fuck what you telling me. I really grind like it's telling me. Saw so drip, I got the recipe. And you can find me where that pressure be. I'm really trying to see Tel Aviv. Fuck your elevation. I've been levitated in the preparation. I've been meditated. I've been hella patient. I'm so tired of waiting. I got right here with my day.
So it is December 8th. It is about almost seven o'clock and we're about to go to Cirque du Soleil, which I mentioned yesterday. And I have changed my outfit like five times, but I just put on something, honestly. I was trying to be productive and wear something that I have to take a picture in, but I just don't feel like it. So I switched up my outfit to this shirt that I showed you guys, I believe, in my all black video that I did like a minute ago, honestly, that was a while ago. And then some jeans. These jeans are from Fashion Nova. And then these pointed toe mules are from Hanifa. So we're about to head to, I believe it's in Atlantic Station or something like that. I don't really know, the Echo Center. So we're gonna go there and hopefully we are not like late or we show up and there's like a huge line or anything like that because it is a Friday night and I feel like a lot of people go Friday night and Saturday night, so we'll see. Um, it's only like, it says it's a 45 minute drive, but that's because it's traffic right now. It would be way less than that if it was not traffic. So hopefully we'll get there in a decent amount of time, get a drink or whatever. I don't know how it's set up. I don't know how it works, but we'll see when we get there. morning it is december 9th december 9th and yesterday was cirque du soleil so much fun definitely go if you have not if you live in atlanta really really good time it was a lot of fun it was super cool to see all of the tricks and things that they were doing i was actually mind blown so that was a lot of fun and today we're going to where are we going we're going to a museum i forget what it's called but we're about to go there and like the next couple of hours and later we're going to be going to see the beyonce movie so i'm getting my hair prepared right now because i just don't want to deal with this later on because this is the hair that i want to wear to the movies with my outfit because i have to take some content so i'm just doing it now and i'm going to be wearing a sweater that i showed you guys in my last cardigan haul so this is the outfit i'm going to wear the cardigan that you guys seen these knit pants that have some like distressing at the end from Shein, this red bag, which is Rebecca Minkoff. I think I'm just going to do, I was going to do these, but I feel like the way they would look way better. And then my Marnie slides, that's going to be a really cute museum fit. And then for the Beyonce movie, I'm going to wear this tee right here. It just says good vibe, good vibes tribe or something like that, but it has the red rhinestone. And then I got this red rhinestone bag from JWPEI. I got it on Amazon, but you can get it on their website. I'm pretty sure it's on sale. And then these red pointed toe pumps, which are actually the same exact heels that I wore to the Beyonce concert, which is actually funny. And then these black cargo pants, which, ooh, which are from PLT. So this is my outfit for later and I wanted to wear a bob which is why I'm doing this hair and I, it would look cute with the museum outfit too so I was just like I'm just going to do my hair now because I was going to wear a different wig with the museum fit and then do the bob later but I don't know if I'll have enough time in between so I would record myself getting ready but my vanity light decided it just doesn't want to work anymore. Like the button that you press to turn the lights on just doesn't respond. So if I put the camera here, it's gonna be really bad lighting and it's not gonna look good. So 
yeah, I have to get ready and come back and show you guys the final result. Okay, so I'm dressed. As you can see, my hair is not the way that it was supposed to be, or not the way that it was supposed to be, but the way that I said it was gonna be. I stuck with what I went with originally because every time I switch up something at the last minute, I end up regretting it and wishing I did what I was supposed to do. So I did the crimps and this is, oh, is it focusing? Actually, what happens if I turn the light on? So this is the outfit. You guys seen this sweater in my cardigan haul. These pants are from Shein and then my Marty slides like I showed you earlier. And then instead of the bob, I went with the crimps, which is what I originally wanted to do. And I'm happy because it looks better than the bob would have. I ain't gonna lie, I'm burning up right now, but that's because I've been like running around recording a get dressed with me for TikTok because I'm trying to do better. But yeah, this is the outfit. So I will see y'all when we get to the museum. We're in Atlantic Station and I fucking hate Atlantic Station because it's so complicated. I'm talking to my camera. It's so freaking confusing. Well, this ain't the way. I don't know, it just looks even more vacant over there. <laughs> 